Hey everyone, DMV Solar Rider here. Sorry for the audio overlay, but the other day I had to change my schedule and I was able to get to a demo day at Indiana Fredericksburg at the last minute. Off I went, having given zero thought to how to present my rides, basic info and specs about the 2020 bikes and all of that. So I'm just going to share my rides with you. I'll mix in some basic specs and pretty pictures for each bike from Indian's website, where you can go yourself for more detailed info. Mostly I'm just going to share how each ride felt to me. Just keep in mind I've only been riding for a year with about 13,000 miles under my belt, 5,600 of them on a 2019 Indian Scout, and 7,500 on a 2019 Indian Chieftain Dark Horse. Hope these are helpful. If you're curious about these bikes, ride safe. Alright guys, this might be the last ride of the day, 2020 Indian Challenger. Now, the lady who just rode this bike told me that there's something wrong with the clutch. It's a little sticky, like it doesn't engage till right at the last second. So, we'll be sure to get it through the gears quick. <laughs> Beautiful bike. I like it in white. I don't know that I would actually get white, but it looks good. I mean, this feels so much more like the Chieftain. Just the size of it, the weight of it. Big, heavy floorboards, which I love. Yeah, I see what they're saying about the clutch. I mean, you gotta basically let the bike out, let the clutch out all the way to get power, which is not helpful. <laughs> but once you've got power, it works just fine, baby. <laughs> This bike's got a lot of power, baby. Definitely has more juice than this Chieftain. I mean, there's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. It is obvious, unmistakable. Where I really couldn't tell the difference between my Chieftain and the 2020 with the 116, there is no mistaking the power in this motorcycle. It is impressive. I mean, <laughs> closer to the FTR than a Chieftain is what I would say. But I still think the Chieftain's more comfortable. I like it better. I just like it better. I don't like the big fairing. I don't like that it doesn't move. It, that looks weird. Although probably, my guess is, once you get used to it, it's probably an easier turning motorcycle because you don't have the weight on what's actually turning. sport mode this bike is fierce my friends I like the the transmission I feel like uh, the gears are closer together than on my chieftain less travel for your foot 
Jeep is prettier though. Look at that bike. That is gorgeous. Oh, that clutch thing is so weird. seat is very comfortable on this bike. I mean super comfortable. Got another filmer here. He's got his half helmet. He's crazy. <laughs> Again, everything on this bike feels so nice. The grips, shifter pedal, brake pedal, clutch, Great. I mean it all just feels great like luxurious butter compared to like the Scout I love it on the Scout it's great but when your shift lever is this wide it's gonna be more comfortable it's gonna be easier to handle and stop and go traffic last time I was out on my Chieftain when I was coming home from filming my last ride I was stop and go traffic for two hours and yeah two hours on any motorcycle sucks but I would have been dead meat on my Scout and I managed on the Chieftain It feels good. This tank feels massive. Massive. I mean, the Chieftains is really wide, and so is this, but this is also really thick. I think it holds six gallons, six and a half, something like that. Got a lot of heat coming out of this Challenger on the right. Pretty brutal. Very well balanced, just like my Chieftain. I think where when I first rode it, the first time I rode it, I rode it right after I rode the Chieftain. I think I was a little nervous. It was a little wobbly, duck walking it around the parking lot with uh, the owner of Motorcycles Adullus watching on. Just, you know, a little uncomfortable. Probably spoiled my take on the bike uh, I don't I don't feel any real weight in the front end compared to my chieftain if anything it might feel a little more nimble you know you do have the weight up front because it's in the fairing but it's not on the handles the handlebars Ooh. that clutch is a disaster Keep my 2019 Chieftain Dark Horse over every bike I've ridden today. Just love it. Really do, guys. I mean, it's not because I'm some motorcycle expert and I can tell you how great it is. It's just when I'm on that bike, I am home. I love everything about it. Yeah, 
rain mode on this bike is a crying shame, man. Touring mode on my bike is great. You know, I, I think I think someone dynoed it, and it, it actually had more torque lower down on the range in touring mode than anything else, sport and standard. But on this bike, rain mode, which is what they call it, is just worthless. I mean, my mom could get out and, and out race this bike. <laughs> no, not really. There's my baby. Well, that, my friends, is the 2020 Indian Challenger.